All right, all right. Well, hey, it's about that time. We're so glad that you are here. We're going to jump right in. This is class five of Launch 28, how to launch your product in 28 days or less while building your list, gaining testimonials, and creating multiple streams of income. I'm Chad Thibodeau. I'll be your, uh, your teacher today. I'm so glad that you are here. Uh, today, we're going to be focusing on preparing to launch, and we're really going to be focusing on the webinar. We'll get to a lot about the webinar here in just a minute, but let's just recap where we've been and what we said when we started this project is that the best way to succeed in business is to be in business and that sounds like a common sense thing but one of the things that we do know about uh, digital marketers and people with online businesses is that many of us have really good concepts and really good ideas but we get so paralyzed with the overwhelm that we actually don't ever start. And so we can't be successful unless we actually start. So what this class is about is actually getting you uh, into motion to get your, your message, your business, your product, your service, your offering, whatever it is you have, to get it into business because the best way to succeed in business is to actually be in business. So we said that we're gonna create a funnel, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to take strangers and move them to prospects who then become interested, who then become curious in what we have to sell, that eventually pull out their credit card and pay you. They actually become a customer, and then they become a client where they pay you time and time and time again, and then eventually a few of them are gonna trickle all the way down, and they're gonna pay you a lot of money for what you have to offer our high ticket clients. And so that's the, the nurture prospect, the nurture process, excuse me, that we're taking our folks through. So what we did in class number one is we, we looked and we said, we worked on a value proposition and we said that we have to understand who we are, who we help, what we offer, and what the intended result or outcome is. And so we worked on our value proposition and many of us should have that done already. And then we went to the value ladder and said that we really need to create multiple streams of income out of one concept or one idea. So we said it starts all the way down at the bottom that said that we're, we're going to create an incredible piece of content that we're going to be able to give away for free. We call that a lead magnet, and we'll use that as an ethical bribe to gain their contact information. So we're going to get their name and email address in exchange for the lead magnet. And the lead magnet is going to be something quick and something easy, something they can download and, and consume and digest and put into action right away. This isn't going to be overbearing. It's not going to be a lot of information, just a little bit of information, enough to get their contact information and enough to help them. And then the tripwire is where they overcome their first psychological barrier of actually paying you for a product. And they're going to get a lot of value for just a little bit of money. And the, the psychological concept is, is ah, it's only seven bucks. What do I have to lose? But what you and I know is if they can actually put their credit card information in and pay you, now they jump all the way down to that customer level in our value, in our, in our funnel that we showed you a while ago. And now they are your customer and they're opening themselves up for them to eventually become a client. Our core product is the product that you and I are creating right now where hopefully it's a passive or residual income where we can do all the work right now, work our tails off right now, but we'll be able to make money on this for years and years and years to come. We said with our core product that we need to open it up where everybody can afford it. So we need a lower level entry point. We need a mid-level entry point. We need a higher level entry point. That way we don't leave any money on the table. After our core product, then we're gonna to move to the upsell, which is what else do you have to make me successful? That's the question that your client now is going to be asking. You're gonna be able to upsell them and a percentage of the folks who buy your core product will then buy your upsell. And the high ticket is really where we want you spending all of your time, energy, and effort. This is, this is, uh, this is the big bucks. This is where they pay you a lot of money to be able to help them in a pretty massive way. Okay, and that's the, uh, that's where we're uh, going right now with our product. And so class number two, we said that we need to work on the perfect client. Who do we want to work with and who will my information best help? And the important thing about the perfect client is, is we waste a lot of time, a lot of digital marketers and online marketers waste a lot of time going after bottom feeders or tire kickers or working with people that they don't like or don't want to work with. And the beautiful thing about owning your own business is you get to say no to whoever you want to say no to and you get to pick the perfect client. And so what I'm going to encourage you to do is to make sure that your perfect client 
are the exact people that you want to work with. And we talked many ways to identify them from socioeconomics, to demographics, to geography, to, um, and you can go back to class number two and figure out how to formulate the perfect client. And we filled out a customer avatar worksheet where it helped us to understand who we want to work with. And then we said there's two types of marketing. There's ego marketing and there's hero marketing. Ego, mar ego marketing is it's all about us. Look at me, look at me, look at me. You drive down the street, you see a real estate sign, it's got the beautiful picture of the, of the realtor on it. You know, she's decked out, got beautiful makeup, got her wonderful business suit on and high heels, it's me, me, me. You'll see the, the name of the company, uh, and, the, and it's all about me. Hero marketing is where we make our client the hero. Where it's not about us, but it's about them, and we learn who our perfect client is. We learn what their problems are, we learn what their pain is, and then we step into the picture as the hero, and then we help them out as much as we can. If we give, we give, we give, we give, we give, and then we'll eventually be able to ask. And we said once we figure out who our perfect client is, we understand uh, what, it, what it is that we have to offer, then we create the 11-step strategic operations process, or what I call strat op. Okay? And it starts up at the top left corner where we start with the person. Who is our perfect client? We identify them. Then we ask what kind of problems. These are very practical problems that they have. Okay? Don't overthink this. Just what practical problems do they have? And when they have these problems, how then, the third step, does it manifest itself in emotional pain? And we want to be able to speak to that emotional pain. Then after we understand who we're dealing with, what the problem is, what the emotional pain is, then we step into the picture as the hero and we become very personal with them. And we explain to them why it is that we're the people that can help them. And we talk about our story. We talk about our problem. We talk about our pain. And we talk about what we've done to be able to get past that. And, and we sort of give the, our, ourselves some credibility right here. Then we can move to step five, which is that we can create a promise to them that everything is going to be okay. And this is your one sentence promise statement. Everything is going to be Okay, and you can say that because you've been there, you've done that, bought the t-shirt, and you've come out okay. And so you make your promise statement. And then you move them down to the, prop, to the process. You can tell them it's going to be okay, and then you give them the process. This is the what. You give them the process of how you're going to get them from, from step A to step Z. You give them the process. And then you introduce them to your product, Okay. This is your shiny magic bullet right here. This is your product, whether it's your online course, whether it's your one-on-one -on -one coaching, whether it's your ebook class, whatever your product is, whatever your product, whatever your service, whatever it is you're having to sell, and you introduce it to them right here. Now, you don't tell them the price. You just tell them what it is. And then you move to the next step, which is proof. You want to show them why your product works. And you're going to give two or three or four or five examples and testimonies of people who've used your system or used your process or used your message, and they have benefited from it. And, and you're going to give the testimonials with a written or video right here. If you don't have any of those, then you need to show how your process and your product has helped you and show your proof. Then you move down to perceived value. This is where you do the value stack. You show them what it is that you have to offer and how much value it is perceived at. And you may have five or six or seven different bonuses or offerings or whatever. And you may perceive your value at 10 to 12 or 15 or 20 or 30 or $50,000. That's up to you. You're the one who's got the uh, responsibility of showing the perceived value. But as you show the perceived value, then, then you set your price 10 to 20% of the perceived value. So if your perceived value is $10,000, then you can price your product between one and $2,000. Okay, and then finally you move on to the 11th step, which is where we ask for the sale, we ask for the purchase. We said in class three that if you don't have a list, you don't have a business. And quite honestly, this is such, this is the duh statement of the day right here, you know, but you know, if you don't have any people to show your product to, there's nobody that's got any money that's gonna buy your product. Okay, so you have to have a list if you're going to have a business. And so it doesn't matter how big of a list you have. You know, a lot of our gurus get up there and, and boast, oh, we got 350,000 people on our email list. Well, that's great, that's them, it's not you. You may have absolutely none, but remember, it's not the size that matters, but it's the quality of the lead and how you engage with them that matters. Remember, we're trying to build a tribe here. We're trying to get a group of people to look at you as the expert and to be able to listen to you 
listen to what you say, implement your teachings, have their lives change, and they will become raving fans to the entire world. Okay? And so what our goal in this class is, is to get our first 100 subscribers by the end of this class. We're not trying to get 10,000 right now. Our first milestone is we want to keep it nice and simple. We want to get our first 100 subscribers. So last week we said there's a seven-step strategy to growing your list rapidly without spending any money. Because most of us don't have a budget right now to go out and throw a ton of money into Facebook ads. And so what's a strategy? So we walked us through ourselves through a seven-step strategy where we said we got to create something and we got to give it away. This becomes our lead magnet, whether we trade for, uh, you know, for their contact information. we got to give something away. Then we need to write a shareable article. Remember, this is about 1,500 words where, you know, if we want to get published in a magazine, we've got to have something to be published. So we're going to write a shareable article about our topic. And remember, all of this relates to whatever we, we are selling. So it's all congruent. But we're going to write a shareable article, and we're going to invite people to publish this article in their magazines or share it on their blogs or whatever. But what this does is this, this shareable article begins to establish you as an expert in your field and gives you a flow then in order to um, teach what it is that you're trying to teach. The third thing is, is we're going to host a Facebook Live session. Okay. Now, remember at the end of your shareable article, you're going to give something away. Okay, that lead magnet, and you're going to put a link in the bottom of that shareable, shareable article that says, hey, you know, if you want my 10 steps to be in the greatest, you know, date ever, you know, go to this link. And once again, when they go to that link to get that something free, you're going to put them through an opt-in funnel, and we're going to exchange that free gift in exchange for their name and email address. Number three, we're going to host a Facebook Live session. We're going to do this. In fact, I want you to do many of them, but we're going to do one this week where I want you to host a Facebook Live session where you can promote it three or four days uh, in advance, ask tons of people to share it, and you're going to engage with everybody. So when somebody likes, when you post, hey, got a, a brand new session I'm doing Thursday, and you put the topic of your teaching, when somebody likes it, you're going to send them a personal message says, hey, thank you so much for uh, liking this. Would you do me a favor? And remember, you're going to ask them to share that, plus everything else we, we taught you last week. So go back and watch that lesson. Uh, step number four is we're going to create a mini email course or a four-part video series. A mini email course, and we gave you all the templates for this last week. You can go back and check that out. Or a four-part video series. This is where we're going to begin nurturing and educating our audience. We're going to begin not only establishing ourselves as a credible teacher, but we're going to begin proving the fact that we know what we're talking about and our information now is going to begin helping them in a very real and practical way. Okay, we're going to begin building a tribe. We're going to begin getting raving fans right here. It's going to help them. Okay, and then number five, we're going to get interviewed on a podcast. Now remember, we already have our shareable article. We've already done a Facebook Live session. and We've already got our mini email course and our four-part video series. So we have plenty of content to talk about on a podcast. But remember, the podcast, we're going to borrow their list and their audience. And we're going to give them the five or six talking points or questions that we want them to ask us so we can, you know, give a, a, a really good answer when we begin talking with them. But what we're going to do is we're going to begin getting information back from them, uh, back from there. And we're, as we give something away, we're going to then uh, begin siphoning many of their lists. If you're joining with us, please make sure that you have your microphone muted. That would be great. Okay. Number six, we're going to host, as we said last week, we're going to host a contest or a giveaway. And this is a great, great, great thing to do. You know what this is like. You go to a home show or a trade show or whatever, and you know, they've got this beautiful thing that they're giving away. And what do they ask you? They say, put your business card in here or fill out this little piece of paper with your name and email address. And if, if we draw your name, then we'll let you know. Well, that's called a fishbowl funnel where you fill out this information, you put it in a little fishbowl. And then what we do is as we host a contest or giveaway, you know, we're going to gather their information and we're going to be able to build, build our tribe. And then finally, number seven, we said that we're going to go fishing. We're going to join Facebook groups uh, who already have people in our target audience we're going to become extraordinarily helpful in those particular groups. And then uh, as we see somebody that we think is a good fit for us, we're going to go and we're going to tag them in the private Facebook Messenger. Hey, thank you guys so much for coming on. I hear a couple of you uh, back on with us, but I hear your microphones on. Please, if you don't mind, go ahead and mute your microphone so we don't hear all of that back. That would be great. Actually, 
quite understanding how to do that here. There we go. All right. Okay, so that was last week. And then, so up to this point then, if you've been following along and keeping up with us, um, we should have already created a value proposition. Okay, we should already have our value letter figured out. We should have already figured out the perfect client and avatar worksheets. We should have our 11P strategic op process already created. We should have already done our opt-in funnel. We should have our three-part email follow-up sequence that when someone opts in, here's the three emails that we send them. We should have created our lead magnet. We should have last week written our shareable article. We should have already done or getting ready to do a Facebook Live. And we should have already outlined our mini email series or four-part video series. Folks, if we do this, this is a lot of incredible information that helps establish us as experts in our in our niche okay so now let's move on to today so we've already class one we created our launch pad class two we found the riches and niches class three we built our money list class four we forged a virtual relationship and today it's one of my most exciting classes it's my favorite thing to teach and that is the webinar step number five preparing to launch the webinar remember how to launch a product in 28 days or less while building your list, gaining testimonials, and creating multiple streams of income. And I'm going to make a bold statement that there is no better way to grow your list or sell your product than with a webinar. No better way. Okay, This is hands down the best way to, to 10x your list and to 10x your profits is with a webinar. I've probably done over 250 webinars in my life, um, both uh, you know automated webinars and and uh, live webinars, all, all of my clients that I've worked with, the dozens and dozens of clients that I've worked with, one of the things that I get them to do as quickly as possible is to do a webinar. And so if you hang in with me today, you're gonna be drinking out of the proverbial fire hose. You're gonna get inundated with information today. But if you grasp this, you're gonna do an incredible job. And I promise you that one good webinar, one good webinar can make you a lot of money. In fact, it's very seldom that I've done a webinar where we've made less than five figures. Okay, so our goal is to make ten thousand dollars on a webinar. When I host them, that's that's our minimum. Is we want to we want to make at least ten thousand dollars. And and I'm telling you, a good webinar will do that plus some. The most amount of money that I've ever made on a, on a webinar is I think thirty three thousand uh, dollars. But you think about that thirty three thousand dollars for one hour of work. Well, it's a lot more work than one hour, but one hour presentation. That is really good. But there is no better way to grow your list or to sell your product than with a webinar. Now, here's the thing. Let's jump into a webinar. What in the heck is a webinar? Many of you may be asking that. A webinar is a presentation that you can do live or automated, live or recorded, okay, where you share a lot of incredible, valuable information that helps out your client. And at the end of that process, you sell them something. So let's take it out of the online case. We've, we've all been here. We've been invited to a, a presentation at a hotel or whatever. We go to the ballroom and we hear this guy get up and he speaks and he's engaging and he's funny and you're laughing and you're crying and he's telling stories and he's talking about his products and he's talking about, you know, everything he's got to sell. And at the end of it, he points you to a back table and says, listen, right now, if you want this, it's X amount of dollars. Get up right now and go. Go, 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 go buy it. And you've seen tons of people stand up in the ballroom and they run to the back of the table and they pull out their credit card and they begin buying. Well, that's the same concept with a webinar except for we do it online instead of doing it at a hotel, okay? Now, there are five different types of webinars. And one of the things that you need to do is you need to figure out which one do you want to do. The first one is what we call the scripted lecture. The scripted lecture is where... Uh, you work on your talk in advance and you literally script it, either outline it or, or some people script it word for word. And then uh, you get on and you, you present it. One person, just like I'm doing right now, what I'm doing right now is a scripted lecture where I'm coming on, I'm teaching you. It's just me. You're on the other side of the screen. There's not a whole lot of engagement right now. There will be later but I've scripted, but mine's not really scripted. I just get an outline, okay? But I'm lecturing to you, okay? It's not an engagement, it's just a lecture to you. The second type is the interview. This is where you as the expert and a host 
would get on together and the host would interview you and the host would be responsible for keeping the webinar flowing, asking you the great questions, and then the host would sell the product at the end, but what you do is you would answer the questions and you would teach, 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 establishing yourself as a credible expert, giving all kinds of free content away, content away, really helping your audience, okay, and then letting them know what it is you have to sell. That's the interview. Then there's the hybrid. The hybrid is the mix, the mixture. The hybrid is where you have a host, welcome folks, okay, uh, get everybody on, and then turn it over to you. You do the, the lecture, and the host comes back on, does the follow-up, does the pitch and does the sell, and then you and the host together do questions and answers at the end. The fourth style is what we just call the Q&A webinar. You don't really have a lecture, uh, you don't really have a lot of stuff that you're gonna teach, but you have a tribe of people who, who have questions about your product, your, your, your industry or whatever, and you're going to go on there and you're gonna host a Q&A webinar. The way you do this is you ask for the questions in advance, Okay, and you pick your 10 or 12 or 14 questions, and then you go on there and you have, you know, you, you show, you display the question on the screen, you answer it, and you go through all of those, and then at the end of it, you, you pitch something, you sell something, and then you take live Q&A. And then the fifth one is the partner. The partner webinar is where you're going to find somebody who already has a list who has a target audience similar to you, and then you're going to invite them to do a webinar with you where they come on and they are the host and they welcome everybody. Cause remember everybody on there is their list. They welcome everybody. They introduce you. You go on and you do a scripted lecture and at the end of it, you sell their list something and in exchange, the partner gets a commission on what you sell. So those are the five different types of webinars that you can do. And so today what you're going to do by the end of this class is you're going to figure out what webinar style or excuse me, what type of webinar, do you want to do now let's go to the styles of presentation okay now there's three different styles one style is slide deck only and you may notice for this particular class I've turned my camera off and I'm only using a full screen slide deck the reason is is because I wanted to show you what a slide deck only webinar presentation looks like okay so a slide deck only is where you have a bunch of slides now please note that in order to do a slide deck presentation well you need somewhere between two and four slides per minute in order to keep your audience engaged. And the best type of slides aren't the ones with content on them. The best type of slides are engaging pictures that relate with what you're talking about. It can have a little bit of content on it, but you just want enough on there in order to engage your audience. Okay. So the next kind is your on camera. Okay. The on camera is where you use a really decent webcam and you come on camera and everybody can see you, okay? And then um, uh, you can engage that way. The third kind is, is the picture in picture. It's sort of a hybrid between the two where you have the, maybe the slide deck is on full screen and you're in a little window down below or vice versa. It's called picture in picture. To do this, you're gonna need somewhere between one and three slides per minute. So do, do the math. So if you're gonna do an hour webinar, you may need between 60 and 180 slides in order to do a picture in picture webinar well. If you're gonna do a slide deck only, you're gonna need somewhere between 120 and 240 slides. And you're like, oh my gosh, that sounds so crazy. Yes, it is. Okay, but I'll, I'll give you, I'm gonna give you some slide decks at the end. I've got a bunch of freebies for you today. It's a lot of work, but I'm telling you, nothing grows your list or sells your product faster than a webinar, and I promise you this is the greatest asset that you can build. You need to look at this as this is your business. Just as growing your list is your business, this is your product, this is your baby, this is your storefront. Okay, if you owned a brick and mortar business, okay, this is the window out front on the street. When everybody's walking by you, this is where the mannequins sit, okay? This is where your products are displayed at. Your webinar is your front window to your business it is worth it to invest time and energy, and even money, into making sure that your webinar is incredible because your webinar can literally 10x your business overnight. So let's get into the fun part of the webinar, okay? I hope you guys are taking really good notes here. This is extraordinarily important. But let's talk about the flow of the webinar, okay? And I put all of them on here because I want you to, to just be able to see these because I want you to see the flow in its entirety. 
Okay, the flow itself starts with what we call the pre-party. Okay, the pre-party. Now, the pre-party is the 10 to 15 minutes. You know, let's say that your webinar was going to start at noon. The pre-party is the 10 to 15 minutes before your webinar starts that you know people are going to begin showing up to your webinar. You don't want them just coming to a boring, blah screen, okay? That's no fun. We don't want that. If you don't want that, and so the pre-party is what you do to engage these folks Why everybody is coming on. Now, this is so important because part of the webinar is, is remember, you're trying to build rapport with these folks, right? Because people don't buy anything from somebody they don't trust. And one of the hard things about a webinar, especially if they're automated, is you never get to engage with the presenter. Well, this is your time. People begin coming on, and this is where you're shooting the breeze. And you're like, hey, Martha from Minnesota, how are you? So glad. Hey, I was in Minnesota last week, and oh, my goodness, I can't believe how gorgeous the lakes are there. Hey, how far from St. Paul are you? And then, it, it, then they can go in the chat room and they can engage with you, okay? Hey, John from, you know, West Virginia. Hey, so glad to have you here, you know, uh, from West Virginia. Hey, how's the, you know, is, are you guys getting hit with that, with, you know, are you guys getting hit with that, uh, with that, hurricane right and so you can engage with them you can also have fun here okay so this is where you can play some music you can have some music on your computer playing you know you may have some fun you know disco music or literally make this a party because what this will do is this will begin to increase the energy for for your webinar okay so this is a really big time here don't underestimate the the value and the importance of the pre-party i would tell you that if anything gets overlooked in the webinar presentation it's this, and what I will tell you is this is one of the most important uh, components of the webinar because um, this sets the entire flow, this sets the entire mood for what's going on. So uh, you, you may have seen this, I don't know if you've ever been to a comedy show before, but if you go to a comedy show and um, leading up to the comedy show, they will have a host, okay, and a host is the, the moderator, so to speak, is the person who comes on there and his sole responsibility is to get the energy up so when the real comedians come out, the crowd is ready to go. Well, that's the role of your, your webinar, of, of your pre party of your webinar, is to get the energy up, to get people ready, to engage with them, to build a virtual relationship with them, to let them see that you're human, to ease their angst, and to get themselves ready to not only engage, not only to hear from you, not only to learn from you, but really we're hoping that they're getting themselves ready to pull out their credit card and to buy from you, because that's really what we're trying to do uh, with them and for them, is at the end of this, we want them to purchase something. And so this, that is extraordinarily important. Now let's move on to the next part, and that is the welcome. Now you'll notice here that there are basically eight main components of the webinar flow, okay? But you'll see that I've put in parentheses what we call the sub-components. So let's talk about the welcome, okay? So if your webinar is supposed to start at noon, Okay, and you do the pre-party from 11.45 till noon. Well, at 12 o'clock, right on the dot, uh, you are going to get going. Now, the pre-party is fun, too, if you have a countdown plan. So if you have a countdown playing on the pre-party, uh, then people will know when the webinar starts, okay? So we get to the gist here, right here where the welcome is, right smack dab at the beginning. It's, it's the top of the hour. It's time to start. Don't worry who's there. Don't worry about who's not there. What you want to do is you want to jump on and you want to welcome. And once again, just a reminder for our folks who are in the classroom today, if you would not mind muting your microphone, I hear lots of background noise. It's a little bit distracting for the rest of the crew. So just go on there and mute your microphone if you do not mind, okay? Uh, so the welcome is so important. What we're going to do with the welcome is, is we're going to have a title slide. Okay, so the title slide, um, if, you were to, if you remember mine, uh, 
my, let's see if I can get all the way to the beginning. This is my title slide right here. You know, launch 28, how to launch a product in 28 days. And so this looks good. It's got a nice background. It's laid out well. It's got my logo. It's got beautiful colors. It's simple to read. But it basically tells people what they're getting themselves into. This is called a title slide. So when you come here to do your welcome, okay, what you're going to want to have on is you're going to want to have a title slide. You welcome everybody. Hey, everybody, how are you? You know, um, and then here are the components of the welcome. Okay. The first thing that you want to do is you want to jump on and you want to introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. I'm Chad Thibodeau, and I am uh, a business and launch strategist. And guess what you get to do right here? This is where you give your value proposition. Okay. So you welcome yourself. You give your value proposition right here. And then, um, and then you begin to tell them, hey, here's what we're going to learn today. Okay. Here's what we're going to learn today. And what you want to do right here, and I'm going to make this ugly just a minute because I want to put something on here so that you can follow along is this is what we call the big promise. Okay. Remember in our 11 step flow uh, that we talked, talked about um, a while back, remember the 11 step flow, we said that there is a promise statement right here. And this promise statement is one of the most important statements that you can make. Well on your webinar, okay, when we come here on our webinar and we begin getting to this particular place and we see this, um, this, the big promise right here, this statement is very crucial. What you're gonna do right here at the beginning, in addition to letting them see your title slide and giving them the agenda, is you're gonna make one big promise. I'm gonna promise you, okay, that if you stick around today, okay, um, and let's, let's just say that our topic is on, um, I don't know, uh, let's say that our topic is uh, on launching a product, okay? I'm gonna promise you that if you stick around today, that I'm gonna teach you the exact sequence that you need in order to launch your business within the next 28 days. That's my promise, okay? And whether you buy from me at the end of this webinar or not, you're gonna take some practical information home with you that you can begin implementing immediately to begin 10Xing your business, and that's my promise to you, okay? So you have gotta come up with a promise statement right there. Then you transition right into house rules. But before we get there, but before we get there, do me a favor, okay? If you have a cell phone, go ahead and mute that. In fact, turn it off while you can. And then we're gonna be going to some high definition cameras today and you're gonna need as much bandwidth as possible. So I wanna invite you to shut down everything, you know, close down your email, shut down your, your um, uh, you know, your any open windows or whatever and just really focus in and then get personal with them here. You know why? Because you deserve this. You deserve this time. Your business deserves this time. Your family deserves you to have this time because we're going to make an incredible difference in your life today. And if you haven't downloaded the worksheet, it's going to be really helpful. Okay. In fact, I'm going to put a link to the worksheet right now in the chat room. Just click on that link and you'll be able to follow along with that. So you begin setting the house rules. Okay. You begin establishing the rules for the day. But there's one thing that I really want to put in here and emphasize is really what you want to encourage them to do is to engage with you in the chat room. Okay. And let me tell you how we do this. Okay. And, and the way you get them to engage in the chat room is say, um, hey, right now, before we get going, what I'd like for you to do is I want everybody to tell me who you are and where you're from right now, who you are and where you're from. Just let me know in the chat room. And they start putting that in the chat room. In fact, that's a you can really do that in the pre-party as well. But begin doing that in the chat room because you want to engage, get them used to writing stuff in the chat room. The reason is, is at the end of the webinar, they're going to be asking questions. But we also know that the people who are engaged with you, they don't go anywhere. They stick around until the end. So you want to begin getting them engaged um, right from the get-go. Extraordinarily important to uh, get those folks engaged, okay? Let me turn off some of the microphones here. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Okay, so we want, to, we want to get folks engaged as quickly as possible. Another great way to get folks engaged in, in the chat room here is to say, hey, here's what I want you to do. I want you to write, tell me what's one thing you would like to learn today or what's one thing you would like for me to teach you today that could help you with our topic. Take some time right now and put that in the chat room. So see what I'm doing? I'm beginning to get them engaged. Now they're beginning to go in the chat room. They're beginning, beginning to tell us some things, and we want them to be engaged rapidly in this process, okay? Then you move on to hook number, to number four, which is our hook. This is where you're going to be able to create tension that you're going to resolve 
at the end of the webinar. A hook is a, a statement uh, typically related around pain that you state that causes folks to lean in and listen. Okay, lean in and listen. So this could be something like, did you know that nine out of 10 online businesses never ever make any money? Nine out of 10 online businesses never make any money. Okay, so you give a hook right there. It caused me to listen, perked me up. Now I'm leaning in. I'm leaning forward and I'm beginning to listen, okay? And then you're gonna create tension right here, okay? And then you create tension by saying, and chances are your business isn't either. Nine out of 10 businesses don't ever make any money online, and chances are your business isn't either. But you're in luck today, because I'm gonna show you how to launch your business in 28 days or less, and not only are we gonna launch your business in 28 days or less, but I'm gonna teach you all the secrets, tips, and tricks that you need in order to make your first dollar online within the next 10 days. So you see how I've, I've created some tension there, I've put a hook in, it's like I've got the hook in their mouth now and I'm reeling them in, I'm leaning them in, and I'm getting them now to listen to the rest of the story. Then we go to step number five, which is going to seem like a step back. Because what you do is after you create the tension, you've got them leaning forward, you completely ignore the tension. And you go in, to introducing yourself. Now this is your story. If you were looking at the 11 part system that we create, okay, this right here is the personal. Okay, this is the personal, okay? This is, this is where we are. So this is the part of the webinar where you get to bring that in. So the hook is you, you, you create tension by talking about a problem and a pain point, and then you come in and you begin to tell your story, okay? And the way you tell your story here is you introduce yourself, uh, hey, once again, I'm Chad Thibodeau, and I wanna tell you my, my story. You know, I've been very successful in creating an online business right now, but you know, it hasn't always been that way. You know, I remember, and then you go back and, and you talk about your story. You give two or three pain points, and, and the, the story, you want to be able, able to allow them to identify with you, so you tell your problem and your pain. Okay, you talk about the, the time, you know, uh, where you walked into your office one day and you got the pink slip. And you had absolutely no idea where your next dollar was coming from. You lost your income. Uh, you lost your, uh, your health care benefits. Uh, your savings account was pretty much depleted. And how in the world was I going to make money? And I knew right then and there that I had an option. I could go get a J-O-B if I wanted to. Or I could really do what I've always wanted to do. And maybe me getting fired from my company would be the best thing that ever happened to me. Because it gave me the freedom that I need now to jump in and to dive in and to create my own company. So you go in and you begin telling your story. And then you move to the credibility, okay? The credibility now is, so after you tell your story, you tell your problem, you tell your pain, now you give your credibility. And so the credibility is this. So I go in and talk about how, you know, uh, I got fired, I lost my money, you know, lots of tension and stress around the house. Uh, you begin telling your pain and your problems and you know, and then now you give credibility, you know, but you know what? Um, I, I almost hit rock bottom. In fact, I did hit rock bottom, but uh, I remember watching Tony Robbins one day and he said, and then you give a statement or whatever. I'm just making all this up. Okay. But you give a credible statement. And I just knew that that resonated with me. He was speaking with me and I began to pull my myself up from my bootstraps and I you know I had no idea what I was doing when I launched my own company but I I watched every webinar I could get my hands on I read every book that I could get my hands on and doggone it I followed this 28 step process that I'm going to give you today and I launched my business within my first month and and boy I didn't make a ton of money but I made a little bit of money within my first month so what you're doing is you're giving your credibility right here this is your credibility statement and then you move to trust Okay, and the trust aspect right here uh, with, your, with your introduction is you now need to be able to give them a reason to trust you. And once again, folks, if you're in the room, we're so glad that you are here. If you guys would not mind muting your mics, that would be great that we don't get any background noise. But the trust element of your introduction is incredibly important because what you're doing with trust uh, is you're giving them a reason to buy from you a little bit later. Okay, and the way that you trust with people more often than not is to not sound sleazy, not sound slimy, but to be vulnerable and authentic. And if you're vulnerable and authentic and you just come out as an everyday Joe, 
and as in you know uh, everyday Jane, people have a tendency to trust them. Remember, nobody buys any, nobody spends any money with people they don't trust. Okay, so this is your opportunity to tell your story, to get vulnerable, to be authentic. Okay, build your credibility. Tell them why you're an expert. Okay, and begin building trust with them. You do that by making some promises, and then you give some social proof. And the social proof, and I'm going to show you an example of this in a minute, but social proof is where you begin giving testimonies about um, people that you've helped who've now come into the table. So once again, now watch this. If you're looking at our 11-step process, okay, if you go back here, okay, you have the person, the problem, the pain, the personal, the promise, Okay, and in a minute, you're going to give them the process, but you're going to skip over the process and the product, and in the webinar, the proof comes right, right after, right, the proof comes right after the, the personal and promise, okay? So the proof comes all the way over here, and in a minute, we're going to give them the process and the product. The reason why is on a webinar, you want to give them, continue to give them a reason to listen to you, so we give social proof right here. And then we're going to transition into are into our core content. You're gonna transition. So you tell your story, you give your credibility, you talk about why you're trustworthy, you give the social proof, and then you wanna transition right into your core content. And the way you do that is you, you um, just use one little transition phrase. And so, so Johnny from Mesa you know, says, you know, hey, Chad was the greatest online coach ever. He helped me 10X my business in 38 days or less. And the way that I transition it when I'm doing webinars is say, listen, now that's Johnny, but really what you care about is you. So what I want to do right now is if I want you to pull out your handout, make sure you have a pen and piece of paper, make sure you've got everything done. So I want to jump in here and I'm going to give you the seven steps now to launching your business in 28 days or less. So see how I, how I did that? I did that one little transition phrase where I said, you know, that's Johnny, or that's Martha, or that's Evelyn, whoever I was given the social proof on. But really what you care about is you. So get your pen and paper out, let's jump right into this, and I'm gonna teach you now, and I'm gonna give you whatever the title of your webinar is, I'm gonna teach you the seven steps on how to launch your business in 28 days or less. Now remember, you gotta engage them again right here. So if you're ready, I want you to put in the chat room right now So, Chad, give it to me. Chad, tell me you're ready. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. And what we begin doing is we're beginning engaging with our audience right here. They're, they're filling up the chat room. They're letting you know that, you're, that they're ready. They're letting you know that they're engaged. And as soon as you get a little bit of that, you'll say, okay, Mary, all right, I'm with you. Let's do this. Okay, John, I see that. I see that. I see that you're ready. Let's get this going on. Okay, are you ready? Let's dive in right now. And then you dive in and you do an incredible job of teaching and you make sure that you fulfill every promise that you made for what, they, what you told them you were going to give them when they signed up for the webinar. And you come in and you give an incredible teaching. Here. Now, what are you teaching in your webinar? Now, if, if you remember our 11-step process, in the webinar, you're teaching the process. You're teaching the what. You're not teaching the how. You're teaching the what? You're teaching the theory, the process, okay? You're, you're, telling, you're telling them what could happen right here, and you begin teaching that theory. And you are teaching it, and you are giving your best stuff away for free. If I can tell you anything, you've got to give your best stuff away, okay? This has got to be your best stuff. If this is not your best stuff, they will never buy your product, okay? Never buy your product. I've seen some webinars where, where an expert will come on here and say, well, I would tell you this, but I really want you to buy my product, so I'm not going to tell you this. No, 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 no. You jump in there, and you give them your best stuff. Because remember, part of the law of reciprocity is, is, wow, if their free stuff is that good, I can only imagine how good their paid stuff is. So you have to give your best stuff away for free. So let's recap here. You start with the pre-party, 10 to 15 minutes before they're coming on. People are welcoming. You get some music playing. You're welcoming everybody. You're engaging them within the chat room. Then when it's welcome, you say, hey, it's that time. The countdown hits zero. You get the title slide on. You tell them what the title is. Okay. You give them a quick rundown of the agenda, and then you make one big promise. Here's what I'm going to promise you today. If you listen closely, you follow along, you take great notes, and you apply the content that I give you, I'm going to make you a promise that that you're going to be able to launch your business in 28 days or less, okay? But before I 
teach on that. Let's get some house rules. Turn off your cell phone, we're using high def cameras, close down all your windows, you need as much bandwidth as possible. Oh, and if you haven't downloaded the worksheet, please do so. In fact, I put a link in the chat room. Now speaking of chat room, I wanna know uh, who I'm speaking to today. So give me your name, just your first name and where you're from, okay? First name and where you're from. And you take a minute there while they're downloading their worksheet to begin welcoming Mary from Minnesota and John from Delaware and you know, Franny from Florida. You, you engage with them in the chat room. And then you move to the next one and you get into the hook. The hook is, is that one statement or two statements is going to create tension that hooks them in. And I always like to do it negatively. Like, did you know that 90% of everyone who creates an online business makes absolutely zero money? You quit your job for this. You quit your job to create an online business, and you know what, folks? The odds are not in your favor because chances are you're never going to make any money online as well. And I, I love to do it negative. It's that lean-in factor. I want them to lean in because I want to create tension that I get to resolve later on. And I always love to say, yeah, but they didn't have me as a coach, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll transition. I'll tell my story. And remember, my story, I'm going all the way back. Uh, nobody cares what year you were born, none of this. But they do want to get personal with you. So this is where I'd show, you know, a picture of my family, picture of my kids. You know, if I have a hobby, I show them, you know, I show them a picture of that. You know, they want to do get personal. Remember, nobody, nobody buys from people they don't trust. You got to get personal here. So I'll show a picture of my family, uh, show a couple of my hobbies, okay, um, and then I'll get into my problem and my pain. And I'll get vulnerable and authentic with them. I'll get very emotional with them. Let them know that I hit rock bottom. Got fired from a job. And, you know, and I, was, I thought it was the end of the world. And, you know, but, um, and I'll go in. And, then, and, then I, and that builds credibility and that builds trust. And then I give them social proof. And I, I tell them that, hey, you know, I've been, I've been really blessed in my life to work with some incredible people. And I begin giving four or five or six testimonies right here. Uh, and this is all coming back to me and to my product. Now, why am I spending that much time on that? The reason is, is because I've got to build credibility or they'll never buy. And what you get right at this moment, you get people to start filling up the chat room. Come on already. Just get to the good stuff. Just give me some teaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me some teaching. And that's what you want. If people are getting there, then you know that you're doing it right. But don't give in. You finish your story, you finish your credibility, you finish your trust, you finish your social proof, and you don't you dare let somebody talk you out of it. The reason is, is because you have got a game plan and you're gonna be in the driver's seat and you're gonna, you're gonna forge this virtual relationship on them because they need this more than they know. Then you transition into the core content, okay? Uh, you transition to the core content. And I love to do that after social proof by transitioning by saying, yeah, but that was Johnny or that was Mary. But really what you care about is you. So let's jump into it. Okay. I'm going to teach you now the seven steps to launching your business in 28 days or less. And remember, engage them in the chat room again. How many of you are ready? If you're ready, let's go. Okay. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know in the chat room. Fill that up. Let me know in the chat room. Okay. And then, and then once you do all of your teaching, you get the main teaching. Okay. And this is really big. Okay, you're going to spend anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes of incredible teaching, giving them your best stuff. When you give them your best stuff, you are an expert at what you do. Okay, when you give them your best stuff. When you give them your best stuff, you have helped them out tremendously, and the law of reciprocity kicks in, and they say, wow, if that's what he gave me for free, you bet your bottom dollar I'm going to put my credit card down. Then you transition then into, the, into the seventh core, which is the pitch. Okay, this is where you make money. And this is what we all are doing this for. We want to help people. We want to change lives. We want to transform the world. But quite honestly, we want to get paid, okay? We want to get paid for what we do. And this is where you make your money. And a very well-scripted and very well-designed pitch can make you a lot of money. So here is the order that you've got to be able to do the pitch. And I want you to follow this to a T. You're talking to a guy who's got 250 webinars under my belt. In fact, I, uh, one of my businesses is called The Webinar Guy, where I do done-for-you webinar services. I'll show you some samples here in just a minute. But I want you to see this, okay? Look, look at this. You transition, okay? Folks, well, don't forget, if you're in the chat room, if you do not mind, just making sure your microphone is muted. We're hearing lots of background noise, and uh, it just gets a little distracting for us. So if you could just go on and um, help us with that. 
muting your microphone. Thank you so so much. Okay, let's. I guess somebody that. Hey, Jeff. There you are. Okay. Okay. So let's get to the good stuff here. The, the pitch. Okay. And then I'm gonna, then I'm going to show you the nitty gritty. The pitch right here is extraordinarily important because the pitch is. Uh, where you make your money. So you're going to transition. So after you come out of your core, t core content, you're going to come out of your core content. You're going to transition. And the way you transition here is you wrap it up. You recap what it is that you taught them, and then you bring it back and you, you take it personal, okay? You bring it back and you say, okay, you know, today we taught you the seven steps for doing this and the three this and the four whatever. You recap your thing. But now what I want to do is I want to get to the most important part, and this is how you can implement this, and you yourself can launch your, or whatever your bottom line is. You can 10X your business, or you can lose that weight, or you can whatever. You're going to make a transition by bringing it back to them. Okay, and transition. You're going to make one transitional statement. Then you move to the close. Now, what is the close? The close is not a sleazy, slime ball, nasty, gross, I need a shower, self pitch. Uh, the close is what we call the imagine statement. Okay, imagine what your business would be like if we could get you launched in 28 days or less. Imagine how much significance you would have in your life if you finally got off that proverbial paralysis and, and implemented what it is that you did. Imagine what it would be like to live your lifelong dream. You've always wanted to change the world with your content, but you never have. Imagine what it would do to your family if you were able to 10x your income based on the information that we gave you. And so the close is simply five or six or seven imagined statements, okay? So the transition is a statement where we bring it back to them, a close, then, is all of our imagined statements, okay? We're going to give them five, six, even seven imagined statements. Because as you give imagined statements, now they're beginning to psychologically picture themselves uh, of what their life would be like if they bought your product, okay? Then you move to the offer, okay? You move to the offer. Now, the offer is this is where you introduce them to your thing. So imagine what your life would be like. You know, I've got for you, you know, the Launch 28 online coaching class. And I'll, I'll you know, if I was doing it, then I'd have a picture of my offer. You know, Launch 28, how to build your product in 20 days or less while building your list, gaining testimonials, and creating multiple streams of income. So let's say that was my offer. So I'd put a slide up now of my offer so they could see that. And, and I'll talk a little bit about it. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to immediately, after I talk about my offer, okay, I'm going to begin breaking down my offer. What do you get in my offer? Okay. And I would show them several slides of what you get. And I'm going to show you a sample of this in a minute, so you'll see it all. I would show them several slides of what they're going to get in the offer. But I would not show them a price right now. Don't show them a price right now. Just show them what you're going to get in the offer. Then you're going to move to risk reversal. Now, what is risk reversal? Risk reversal is the guarantee, okay? The risk reversal is all the reasons, that, all the excuses that are coming up in their mind for why they don't want to pay you, okay? Oh, you know, I bet this is $2,000 or whatever. So this is where you, where you say, hey, I put this together, and I put it together in such a way that if you follow these seven steps, at the end of the 28 days, you're going to have everything that you need to launch your product. And, but here's my guarantee to you. If you go through this and you do all the work and this process just doesn't work for you, I'm going to give you 100% of your money back, no questions asked, okay? That's a risk reversal, okay, a money back guarantee. Another risk reversal is, hey, listen, you're going to be able to get this, for, to kick the tires for 30 days, and you're not even going to make a payment until after your 30 days, so you're going to be able to get in and look at it. See, that's a guarantee. That's a risk reversal. Another risk reversal is, now listen, you think you're just going to download this information and you're going to be left alone. No way, Jose. Every Monday, I'm going to be doing a live coaching class, and when you get this, I'm going to jump in and I'm going to teach you and coach you. I'm going to hold your hand through the entire process live. You're going to have me. See, that's a risk reversal. Some people even go as far as, listen, I'm giving you my personal cell phone number that if you get into this and you need some help, you're going to be able to text me immediately. See, those are risk reversals. Those are all things that you can begin doing to debunk their excuses for why they don't want to pay you. Then you move to scarcity. Scarcity is um, 
putting a time limit on it and letting them know that this product is going away or the offer is going away or the bonuses are going away or something is going away if they don't purchase right now. For instance, all of you who are on our webinar today, you purchased the Launch Fuel uh, online coaching system. You purchased it on my birthday. And if you re remember, it was only open for 24 hours, right? And remember, if you didn't get in on my birthday in that 24 hour period, you weren't getting in. You had to wait till next time in order to get in. But this time it was $29 a month, and next time it's $49 a month. This time it was $199 a year. Next time it's $299 a year. This time you get launched 28 for free. Next time you get launched 28 for $997. So you see what we did was we put some built in scarcity there that got you guys within 24 hours to jump on board pull out your credit card, pay for it, and now you're in getting some, what I hope is some really good valuable teaching, all because of scarcity. Scarcity is an incredible, incredible psychological tactic that we use to get people to overcome their own fears and to jump on board. And so the reason is it's what we call FOMO, fear of missing out. Nobody wants to be a FOMO. They don't want to have the fear of missing out. They want what you have, and they know they want what you have. And when they see that countdown clock getting going to zero, they're beginning to sweat, and they're like, shoot, I'm just going to do this. And they pull out their credit card, and they buy right then and there. Scarcity. And then bonuses. Bonus, 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 bonus. Bonuses are things that you give as ethical bribes to get their information, to get them to register for the webinar, to get them to show up to the webinar, to get them to stay on the webinar, and for them to purchase your products immediately. So you begin giving them the bonuses. So you're gonna get this bonus and that bonus. And when you buy today, you're gonna get this bonus and that bonus and this bonus. And all of that helps with the value stack because this bonus may be worth $97, and this one may be worth $397, and that one may be worth $997. This one may even be worth $1997. So you begin doing the value stack. Remember guys, we got the flow. If you've already done this process right here, this is all really easy. The bonuses is this perceived value. You're just beginning to stack up here so they can see that what you have to offer is worth a lot of money, okay? So bonuses, and then, and only then, after you've done all that, now you're gonna do a call to action. A call to action. Now you're gonna tell them how much it costs, and you're gonna encourage them to jump on and buy right then and there. But remember, you got to buy within the next 15 minutes. And if you don't, then the product's going away. Or if you don't, the bonuses are going away. Or if you don't, the price is going up. Okay. You've got to get that scarcity in there. So now you give them a call to action at CTA. You give them a call to action and you invite them now to purchase your stuff. Once again, if you follow this 11 step process, if you've already written this out, your webinar is a piece of cake. Okay, your perceived value are your bonuses. You tell them how much the price, and now you give them a call to action, and you're asking them to purchase. So that's the big, that's the big deal with webinars. That is the webinar flow. This is how it's going to run. But you're not done teaching yet, and you've got to let them know. Hey, I'm not done teaching yet, folks. I still got 15 minutes of teaching left. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin taking your questions, and you may have some questions on the content that I gave you today. Or you may have some questions about the system itself. I'm going to put a 15-minute clock on, and I'm going to take your questions for the next 15 minutes. In fact, you know what? I tell you what. I'm going to take your questions until you're done asking them. But while you're doing this, uh, click this little link. Go there. Check out the system. You'll still be able to hear me. Check out the system, and you purchase. And do me a favor. If you buy, I want you to let me know in the chat room because I want to welcome you to the Launch 20A family. Okay. And so you're pitching, 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 and you go on and you do 15 to 20 minutes of Q&A while the countdown ticker is running, okay? And that scarcity is building. That scarcity is building. You guys want to see? You guys want to see some? Uh, you guys want to see some examples of this? If you do, let me know in the chat room. Say, Chad, show me. Show me some samples. Billy says, show us some samples, please. You guys are okay if I get a little dirty, right? Okay, so we're going to jump up here. And I'm going to open up my little thing. And I'm going to show you um, the backside 
the of the uh, of a webinar uh, that we've done, and uh, I'm ho I was hoping to be able. To, I'm hoping I can pull this up for you. My laptop, for whatever reason, has died, so I'm going to try to pull this up, and I'm going to try to see if I can find. Um, okay, here's one. Okay, so I'm going to show you this. Everybody can see my screen? You cannot see that. Okay, let me show you this. And let me show you, share my screen. And here is the PowerPoint. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a sample of a webinar. Now there's 91 slides here, we're not gonna go through all 91, okay? But this is, uh, this is one of my clients, this is Tom. Tom is a pastor. And he runs a webinar. He's made a ton of money on this webinar, by the way. He's got a he teaches a webinar called uh, the Oikos Principle: Five Steps to Help Churches Become Laser Focused on Their Mission. And I want to just show you a few things. So this is his first slide. Uh, this is his pre-party. Hey guys, you know if you want to jump on board, here's my Twitter, here's my Facebook. Okay, and then he moves into hey how to create increase your viewing pleasure, don't forget to turn everything off, shut down your phone, don't forget to download and print the workbook, he's got a picture of the workbook right here, hey, be sure to stay to the end, there's a special bonus, okay, and then he, then he does something really cool to engage them in the chat room, hey, do me a favor, open up that chat room right now, and I want you to tell me, do you guys see a regular flow of first time guests, so in his chat, he asks them some, some very specific questions, okay? And every one of these questions is related to what he has to sell. And what he's doing is he's actually setting them up. He's actually tossing a ball up, uh, a little softball, because he's getting ready to knock it out of a park. And what he's doing is he's getting them to qualify themselves as the perfect candidate to buy his product. So he comes on and he says, hey, do you see a, flow, a regular flow of guests? How often do you struggle balancing? Evangelism discipleship. Do you have intentional outreach strategy? How happy are you with results? If not, what stopped you? And then he'll tell them, hey, on a scale of one to 10, how passionate are you? Okay. And then so he'll go in and he'll get them to communicate with them in the chat room. Remember, engagement is where it's at. Then he goes on and says, you're in the right place. Okay. If you are a pastor or a church leader. Now, what he's doing here with this is he's telling them who they are so they know that they're in the right place. Okay, and he goes on and he gives five or six, you're in the right place, uh, right place slides so that they can know that they're in the right place for the teaching that they're wanting, okay? But now he goes, but the reality is this, and now he goes and he talks about the problems of their pain, okay? And he talks about the fears that their people have in, you know, uh, in telling people about church, okay? And he talks about that. And, and what's happening is these people are beginning to identify with that. And then he comes back, and he, this is where his introduction, hey, I'm going to tell you, you know, five steps to help churches become laser-focused on their mission and the master class. And, he, he, and then here's his big promise. Here's what you're going to discover. And he, he tells them the five things that they're going to discover. This is a big promise. And then, he, and, then, um, and then why he became obsessed with Oikos, and he goes on and tells why he became obsessed with the concept he's teaching. Now he's beginning to give some social proof, some statistics on why the concept works. Here is some testimonials. Remember, he hasn't even taught yet, okay? All he's doing is he's warming them up, right? Okay, warming them up. Why am I doing this? Okay, and he tells them why he's doing this. And then he teases to the end, and he says, hey, I want you to know at the end of this, I have something to sell. It's called the Oikos Strategy for Church Growth, and it's going to be able to help you implement this dynamic principle that we're going to teach you into the DNA of your church. So stick around for that. I'm going to show it to you. And in fact, I'm going to show you how to get this for half off, but that's coming later. Okay, and also if you stick around to the end and you purchase the system today, I'm going to show you how to get 100 copies of my book absolutely free. But before we begin teaching, don't forget to turn off your mobile phone, download the workbook, and then he asks them to pray. He puts the title slide down again, and then he goes on and he begins teaching. Now, here, this is what we call a hybrid class because what this is is this is a hybrid class, so where, where I actually, everything that you just saw, as the host of the webinar, I actually teach all of this. I actually do all of this for Tom, and then what we do for Tom, it's a hybrid class, is we come on here, and I'm gonna show you, this is pretty cool, okay? I know you can't see this right now, but I'll share it with you in a minute. Now let me share this again. You're gonna see this. Okay, you guys should be able to see my 
my Chrome, right? Okay. So this is his. Um, this is his. Uh, oh, let me fix this here. This is his registration page. We'll talk. We'll talk, talk about registration pages in a minute. But this is a registration page. He sends Facebook traffic to this. Okay. And then what happens is you can sign up. So you can reserve your spot, put in your information. And what's really cool about uh, this particular uh, web, this particular uh, webinar here. Actually, that's the wrong one. Let me show you. Sorry, guys, I showed you the wrong one here. Let me show you the right one. Apologize about that. This is the right one. Okay, so you come in here and you register for a thing, and when you reserve your seat right here, okay, you can enroll, and it's going to let you pick the date. And so we're going to just, just so I can show you this. We're going to watch yesterday's replay, okay? When you watch yesterday's replay, you put in the information, and you'll notice here that his webinar comes up, okay? I'm just going to show you the first 30 seconds of this so you can see a sample. Hey, everybody. Welcome. We're so glad that you have chosen to be part of this teaching today, this master class on the Oikos Challenge. I'm here with Tom. So what we do here is at the beginning, we, we are on high definition cameras, okay? So people can see him and can see us, okay? And, but then in a minute, watch what happens. And he is chomping up the bit to get teaching us about this dynamic principle. A couple of minutes. Now you may notice now that we move now to the slide deck of which I showed you a while ago. So that slide right here is the, the very first slide of the slide right. deck that we showed you earlier. Started. We've got people from all around the country who are going to be on. We come back to the today. camera briefly, so, so that it looks like we're live. Hey, also, we're going to be back and forth from being on. And then what I do then is I go on and I teach. I teach for quite a while all of his pre-slides that we showed you. Now, uh, this is pretty cool. If I can do this, let me see if I can find. I'm going to see if I can find the um, the actual video here, so I can scroll through it and I'll show you. Well, here I won't show you his. I'll show you. I'll show you somebody else's. Okay. So, like this is um, this is Sebastian. Okay. This is another time one. Time to get started. Welcome. Uh, we're so glad that you're here for the seven steps to becoming a six-figure coach. And I'm here with a six-figure coach himself, Mr. Sebastian. Lynn. Hey, Sebastian. Doing great. Thank you. Hey, we're gonna get to your book in a minute. The, the best-selling book, I should say, Rich Coach. Poor coach, incredible book. I've read it. I love it. I can't wait to uh, to dive into some of the material here. But first, I gotta ask you about your glasses, man. Yeah. Now, be honest, okay? Be real. I mean, we're filming this in uh, Southern California today. Okay, Hollywood's not too far away. Are these Hollywood glasses, or do you actually need glasses? Okay, so I'm not gonna show you any more of that. But there's a, a situation where where this is this is a, an interview style. Okay, so the one I showed you earlier was a hybrid where you had all the slides. And this is an interview style uh, slide deck here. And then other people just simply do an entire webinar just simply with the slides. There's no right or wrong way to do it. But those are, those are a, few, a few examples. I'm going to show you the pitch real quick, and then uh, we're going to get into some more stuff. But I want to go back to Tom's, and I'm going to show you his pitch, okay? So we come to this point here in his webinar, and then we go to the camera, okay? And then Tom teaches on the camera. And then when we come out of the camera, when we come out of the camera, he gets done his teaching. We come right here, okay? And then I, I, then I come back now as the host, and I bring him through this entire process. And what I do is, is I remind them, oops, excuse me, I remind them of what it was that they, they were going to learn, okay? Remember, that was really big. Like, what is it that you're going to learn? And so I always start that with, asking them this question Let me get this back up here for you I always start by asking in this question what did you think so after you come through the teaching the next question you want to ask is what do you think and then I remind them and I go through and I remind them some of the stuff that they learned on the webinar okay and then I bring it back and I say so why did you show up today so remember in our process this is part of the close imagine why you, why did you show up today Okay, and he gives four or five whys, and then he gives an obvious question, and then he goes back and he tells him, it's your time. This is his way of closing. I like to do it by asking imagine questions. He, he likes to do it by 
touching some more pain point. And he says, it's your time. It's your time to step up. And, and then he says, what you need is you need a coaching system that takes all the guesswork out of the implementation. You need a coaching system that when followed can help your church experience a flood of first time guests. So he's coming back and he's touching the um, in expected results of what's going to happen if you buy my system. You need a coaching system that you can use to unite your board, staff, and lay leaders. And you need a coaching system that you can use as a filter in making every major decision. And you need a coaching system that helps your church take ownership of the Great Commission. And remember, it's not a theory. It's the simplest and most. And then he introduces them to the product. Okay? So he does the product by showing them a slide. Oh, and you know what, you guys? You guys can't see this, can you? Doggone it. Let me try to do this again. Oh, yeah, you can see this. I'm sorry. My, my uh, monitor is just delayed. Okay? So you come by here and you show him the product. And then after the product, you jump on here and you're going to make a statement about your product. The complete A to Z blueprint to move your church from inward focus to laser focus on the Great Commission. This is that promise statement. Uh, I talk about how it's all digital. They can get it immediately. And then I go right into proof. Okay? I give one testimony, two testimony, three testimony, four testimony, all about proof. And then I move into what you're going to get. Here's what you're going to get with the Oikos system. You're going to get 26 teachings, 167 pages, curriculum, one-on-one consultation. Okay, I tell them all they're going to get. And then I break down module one, module two, module three, module four, module five. And I come back, Oikos strategy for church growth. Okay, and then we jump back on here. Here's what you're going to get, but here's your bonuses. And I start doing the value stack. Okay, and I, and I start showing them everything they're going to get as a bonus if they purchase today. Okay, and then I ask them if they're ready. Now, Tom, this particular client, doesn't like to put a lot of dollar signs on it. So you may notice that my dollar amount over on the right-hand side is pretty – it's not bold. It's not right in your face, but I show them that. Okay, but briefly, you should yours should be bigger. Okay, but so nine ninety seven there, three forty nine there. We give them the basic version. I ask them if they're ready. What's the investment? And I say your investment is thirty nine bucks. Thirty nine dollars today, followed by eleven monthly installments of thirty nine bucks. That's it. Okay, that's it. You get a two thousand dollar value for thirty nine dollars a month for one year, and I'll go through and I'll put the three different versions on here, you know, the basic version, the enhanced version, the comprehensive version, because remember, you always want, you always want three, as we talked last week, you always want three opportunities for people to buy, okay, at three different levels. One is the one that everybody can afford, one is the moderate one, and one is the little higher, higher price, but it's one product, three different prices, and then where do I go to get it? You go to the website, oikoschallenge.com, go there right now. Don't forget 12 payments of 39 bucks. And then I end it with this right here, okay? Um, with this, and if I was playing this one, like I'll play this slide here. So I end it with this slide right here. And you may notice that there's a countdown timer on this particular slide right here that's beginning to count down uh, to the scarcity. And so we, and during this particular time, we take questions and answers. So, hey, Tom's going to get back to taking some of your questions. So many of you have asked questions. Uh, but don't forget, if you want to purchase today, it's uh, 12 payments of $39. Jump in today for $39. You can also get the $59 or the $99 version, whichever one is up to you. But if you purchase today, we're going to give you the comprehensive level for the enhanced price. You're going to get the $99 a month level for only $59 a month. But you have to purchase before this countdown hits zero. Don't forget, you can go to oikoschallenge.com. Make sure you purchase. Let me know in the chat room. But let's get to your questions right now. John from Minnesota. Tom, John wants to know, and then I'll start bombarding Tom with questions. And this slide is up during the entire time that we're taking questions and answers so people know where to go, if they have questions, who to email, and how much it costs. So that's a sample of a webinar. And I'm telling you, when you nail this, it will 10x your business okay what kind of questions do you have I've been uh, bombarding you with uh, lots of information any of you guys have any questions before I move on to the second half of the uh, not second half but the second part of the teaching we have about 15 minutes left in our teaching any questions I could answer for you okay so let me share my PowerPoint again okay here we go let's go to the oh we got a question here so let's see 
Billy says, oh, just says nothing for me. Okay. All right, so let's go on to the next part, which is the funnel. Okay, what's in, well, don't forget, I'm going to give you a funnel today. You're going to get a webinar funnel, um, which is going to be fun. Uh, the funnel, it lo basically looks like this. You, you, you're going to run Facebook ads if you have money. If you don't, you're going to just uh, email to your list or do all those promotions like we talked about last week. Uh, into a registration page, into a registration confirmation page, into an indoctrination page, into a webinar room or webinar replay. Okay, so I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, it looks just like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to drive traffic. You're going to start with traffic right here. Facebook ads, Facebook posts, Instagram, LinkedIn, email, whatever. And you're going to send them to this webinar registration page. Okay, You're going to send them to the webinar registration page. Okay. And this webinar registration page, I'll show you a sample of it in a minute. It's pretty simple. It's just got your logo. It's got an image or a video. It's got a headline on it and a place for them to put information. Here's, you know, here's who's going to be teaching, and here's three or four things that you're going to get on, on the webinar. Don't complicate it. Make it simple. Put their information, and then it'll move them to the, web, the confirmation page. Once again, thank you for registering. Here's the time and the information. Here's your ticket. Okay, whatever. Okay? If you, if you have something to sell, not, not your course, but if you have something to sell, like a book or whatever, you can actually sell that right here on this page. Click to sign up or whatever. Or if you have a Facebook group or a membership group or uh, whatever, you can actually get them to do that right here. And then after they do it, then you're going to come to the webinar replay room or the webinar room. If it's live, it'll be a webinar room. If it's a replay, it'll be a replay here. But it's a room just like this where it's got the headline on it. Uh, if it's a replay, it's got a counter that says, hey, your bonuses go away when this counter hits zero, add the cart right now. And then you have three sub pages right here. If you want them, you don't have to do those. These are just indoctrination pages to get them to sign up for that. But you don't have to. You don't have to do that. That's what the funnel looks like. Good news is, is you're going to get a free one today. Okay? Oh, I didn't do that. Okay, so from there, so we've got, we've got, let's just re recap here. So I know we're drinking on the proverbial flow, but we picked what type of webinar, what style of webinar. We talked about the flow, okay, of what's going to happen on the webinar. We showed you the funnel, okay, we showed you how we're going to get people there. And then now the onboarding sequence, these are emails. There's one, oops, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven emails that you're going to send them. Uh, to get them on the webinar. Good news, I have those for you as well. You can just be able to copy and paste and change some information. But there's seven emails that you'll send them to get them on. One is that you're in. Hey, congratulations, you're registered, you're in. Hey, do me a favor, bookmark this right now so you don't forget. Do me a favor, write a little sticky note, stick it on your computer so you don't forget it. Put it in your calendar, you're in. The second one is, is I should say a reminder. Uh, the reminder email, which goes the next day, hey, don't forget you signed up for this. Here's all the details you need for the, for the thing. And you begin talking a little bit about the pain right here, okay? And then the third email is personal. This is all about, this is your story. Um, you're going to talk a little bit about this on the webinar. I'll show you a temple of this, but this is where, you know, hey, let me tell you why I'm teaching Launch 28. The reason is, is this is personal to me. I remember um, getting fired and not having any income, not having any health insurance, not knowing what I was going to do for my family. And I had an option right then and there. Either go get a job and work for 15 bucks an hour, or I could go and live my lifelong dream, which is starting my business. And at that particular moment, I was at a crossroads, and I chose to start my business. And because of that, I've been able to live a life like I never dreamed before. And I want you to have that same thing. So that's, that's an it's personal email, okay? And then the day of the webinar, you, the, that morning, 8 o'clock in the morning, they get an email that says, today's the day, don't forget, great stuff happening. 60 minutes before, 60 minutes to go time, 15 minutes before, here's your 15 minute warning. And then finally, as soon as you start, they get an automated webinar or automated email said, saying we're live. Those are the onboarding emails in the onboarding sequence. They're all automated and we'll show you, uh, we'll show you all of that, okay? Um, okay, follow-up sequence after the webinar. Uh, the, you get 50% of your sales after the webinar, 
okay? 50% of your sales. So the first email that you're gonna send them, a couple hours after the webinar, is you're gonna send them a limited time replay, typically 72 hours, with a special bonus, okay? Hey, watch this, get this, okay? Then, then you're gonna, the next day you'll send them a reminder, hey, don't forget, this is what, if you haven't seen it, the webinar replay, okay? Then you're gonna send them a last chance webinar replay, and, your web, and then you'll, this, this, uh, this right here is not, this is wrong. This is gain. This is gain fear logic. What this is then is these are a set of three emails. Okay, so after after they've had a chance to watch it, the gain is hey don't don't forget guys you got uh, twenty you know forty eight hours left to buy my my whatever it is you're offering. Okay. Um, and then the next day you would send uh, like a, it's actually gain logic fear. The next day you send a logic one that says, oh my gosh, I really can't believe you haven't purchased this yet. Really? I mean, this is like the biggest no-brainer in the history of the earth and you haven't bought it yet. And the final one the next day is fear, which says, guys, listen, today's your last day to get it. Okay. After today, you can't get it for this price anymore. It's gone, gone, gone forever. Okay. So those are the, those are the six emails that you sent. So limited time replay, the webinar replay, last chance to watch the replay and gain logic fear. Okay. That's the follow up sequence. Don't worry. We have all that in email template form for you. Okay. So bonuses, 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 bonuses. You need to create five bonuses, but don't stress it. You've already done it. Okay. You need a sign up bonus, a show up on time bonus, a state of the end bonus, a purchase now bonus and buy the upsell bonus. Okay, so let's start with the end one. I like buy the upsell bonus by giving them the. If I have three tiers on the webinar, I like to give them the highest tiered for the middle tier price. Okay, so that's to get the upsell bonus. Okay, don't don't buy the two ninety seven. Buy the nine ninety seven, and I tell you what, I'll give it to you for five ninety seven. That's your bonus. The purchase now bonus is something that you're going to add, you're going to give them if they purchase today. Purchase right now, you're going to give them something. So this could be uh, an article, a cheat sheet, whatever. Whatever You've already created all of those pieces of content. This is one of those pieces of content. Every one of these bonuses is one of those pieces of content that you already created. You're going to give them one of those five things. This, this could be a, uh, if you don't want to lower your price, the get the upsell bonus could be, hey, buy the 997 and I'm going to give you a one-on-one -on -one call today. Purchase, purchase now and I'm going to give you a free 30-minute consultation. Stay until the end and I'm going to give you my free digital book. You know, show up on time. Listen, I, I know you register, but if you show up on time, I've got a special web, I've got a special uh, PowerPoint template. I'm going to give everybody who shows up on time. Okay, so those are the bonuses. You, you need five bonuses. You need to create five bonuses for your webinar. Now, a couple of things before we're done. What do you need to pull off a webinar? Well, the first thing you need is you need a nice microphone. Okay. Um, and to be honest with you, if you have a nice microphone, great. If you don't, don't go out and buy one. The reason is, is because almost everyone who has a, a cell phone has earbuds and a microphone that comes with their cell phone. And quite honestly, that is more than sufficient. Okay, that's all you need is just use the headsets, the headphones, and the microphone that came with your smartphone that's more than efficient. You can plug that right into the back of your computer, and it's great. Now, speaking of that, you need to be on a computer. Don't try to do a webinar on a phone or an iPad. You need to be on a good, good computer with really good Wi-Fi. Okay, I'm going to put that on here just so you need this. You need a good computer. You need excellent Wi-Fi. Now, I actually, I actually recommend with your Wi-Fi that you actually plug in if you can. If you can plug into the internet, even better. If not, make sure nobody else is using the Wi-Fi system because you need as much bandwidth as you can. Because remember, you're powering this out to several hundred people. You need as much bandwidth as you can. You, so you need a good computer, excellent Wi-Fi, a nice microphone. You need good lighting. Don't try to do this in the dark, okay? Get good lighting. Say, Chad, I can't really afford good lighting. Oh, yes, you can. Uh, let me tell you how you can get good lighting. You can go down to Walmart, and for 4 or $5, they sell these lights. Um, I think they can buy them in the mechanics. They're like little clip lights. Like you, uh, they're like, they've got these big, they look like a silver bowl, 
okay? And inside them is just a basic light bulb, and they clamp on anything, okay? And they're literally like four or five bucks. All you need is to get two of those, and you need to put a diffuser on them. Now, what is a diffuser? Because we don't want that bright light shining right on you, so put a diffuser. A diffuser is like a cloth or something that goes on it that's going to sort of take some of that brightness off you. You can go buy them online. You can buy a light diffuser if you want, uh, but actually something that works really, really well is if you just go get some wax paper, some, some opaque wax paper, you know, that works just as well. Wax paper is not going to catch on fire. I mean, you can put that in the oven for crying out loud and you just literally safety or you literally pin that to those lights. So when you turn the lights on, it's got to go through the wax paper to get you. That's all the diffusing that you need. I know it sounds really simple, and really corny and really cheesy, but listen, you don't need to go spend thousands of dollars on lights. Literally go spend 15 bucks at a Walmart and you can get a decent lighting system for your webinar, okay? If all you can afford is one, okay, put that light, literally clamp that light right on top of your computer and shine it directly at you, okay? And use a 40 watt light bulb. Don't use a 100 watt light bulb, it's too bright. Use a 40 watt light bulb, put it right on. All you're trying to do is illuminate yourself. But really, you would like to have three of those. You want one on the left, one on the right, and then one behind you. Okay, that's really what you want for your lighting. You need to have a good camera. Uh, a webcam is, if you have a nice Mac or a newer computer, that camera is typically fine. Okay, a nice webcam. But let me give you a rule of thumb. The camera, your web camera, needs to be the same height as your forehead. Okay, so you're not looking down into your web camera. The web camera needs to be at the same height as your forehead. And then finally, you need a solid webinar platform. You need a platform to do your webinar on. And um, I recommend, the one that I recommend is Webinar Jam. That's the one that I use all the time. Uh, or if you're looking for a free solution, you could use Zoom. Okay, that's what we're on right now, okay? Webinar Jam, it's going to cost you some money, but they got all the bells and whistles, or you can use Zoom. If you're going to get Webinar Jam, let me know. I'm going to give you an affiliate link because I'd like to get paid for recommending you to Webinar Jam. Zoom, uh, you can get two versions of it. Uh, you can get the, inex the cheap version, which is free, and then you get the little more expensive, which is like 17 bucks a month, and that lets you, uh, that, that'll let you do a lot more things. They also have a Zoom webinar platform now. If you want, uh, it's not necessary, but if you want it, you can get that as well. Okay, so you need a good platform, good camera, good lighting, nice mic, excellent Wi-Fi, and a good, good computer. Now, here's the essentials, my last slide for the day. The essentials are this. In order to pull off a good webinar, you need an organized and enthusiastic presentation. Nobody wants to go on a presentation and be bored. Like, oh my gosh, nobody wants that baby. They will hit that red X quicker than Dallas, okay? Or uh, quicker than, I'm trying to think of my little metaphor there and I can't think of one, but they will hit that X and they will be, they will be gone, 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 gone. It's gotta be organized. Follow the flow that I gave you. You follow the flow that I gave you, it will be organized. But be enthusiastic. Guys, you've got a life-giving message to sell, right? And that life-giving message is going to change the world. So be enthusiastic about it. Enthusiasm is contagious. But remember, you've got to be twice as enthusiastic as you really want to be because cameras dumb you down. Okay? It pulls the enthusiasm out of you. Okay? Second, you need a well-designed slide deck. Good news. I'm going to give you one today that I paid, a, I think, $350 for. I'm going to give you a well-designed slide deck that you'll be able to use and you'll be able to modify for your webinar. You need a handout or a worksheet that's nicely designed. Don't design this on your own. Write it out on your own. Go to Fiverr, pay five bucks, design a graphic designer to create it, to create it and to make it look nice. Okay? You need good equipment. All those things that I just told you about, you have to have them. You have to have an irresistible offer. Don't just come to, don't come to bat with a boring, normal, everyday, average offer. You need an irresistible offer like, oh my gosh, I got to get this and I got to get it right now. I would be the stupidest guy in the world not to buy this right now. That's what an irresistible offer is. You need a scarcity timer. Okay, good news. I'm going to give you one today. Surprise, surprise. You're going to get a scarcity timer so you can have a countdown clock on your slides when you're doing your irresistible offer so people buy right now. Bonuses, 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 bonuses. You need all five of them. And then finally, you need well-written follow-up emails, okay? This, these are the essentials that you need.
Now listen, folks, I'm telling you, you need to spend the next 48 hours working on your webinar. And when you launch it, it will be dynamite and you will make sales and you will be encouraged and you will be enthused and you will have a product that you can offer to the universe and you will change the world. I promise you. I promise you. So that is our webinar presentation. Now, in no way, shape, or form is that all you need to know about webinars. There's so much more, but I only had two hours to teach you today, and I don't think I took all two hours, but I wanted to give you the basics of a webinar. Now, if you need help with a webinar, uh, we offer conscientious coaching. It's $2,000. Don't forget for your entire launch process, and that includes your webinar. Uh, we, we can help you with every aspect of the webinar. I can even, you know, for a little bit more money, I can even jump on and do the webinar with you, but we can, we can literally do it all for you. I've got an entire webinar system. I've done over 250 webinars. So, but you got to be part of the concierge coaching in order to get that. So if you want that, you uh, let me know. It's 1900, it's 2000 bucks, 1997, $2,000 for the concierge coaching, but we take you and we walk you through step by step. I'm not just the webinar, but everything that we've taught you up until this point well guys hey we are uh, almost through the series we are we are getting close to being done next week we're gonna get nitty-gritty and we're gonna talk about the tech we're gonna put all this together and we're gonna get technical and I'm gonna show you all the platforms that you how you can create everything I'll show it all to you and we're gonna do all systems go next week so hope you're ready I hope you're engaged because I am super excited about being on the class with you, Launch 28, where we are learning very quickly how to launch our product in 28 days or less while building our list, gaining testimonials, and creating multiple streams of income. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.